Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And yes, Windows 10 Storage Spaces. What is it? Now, Storage Spaces was actually introduced on Windows 8 and Microsoft brought it into Windows 10 platform. It's uh, basically RAID or LVM, which LVM is the Linux Volume Management, which allows you to combine multiple drives, external or internal drives, into one drive for redundancy. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it within Windows 10. So I have my Windows 10 machine right here. And if I go inside my Fire Explorer, I have one, two, three, four uh, hard drives. Uh, each hard drive, uh, three of the hard drives have the same amount, which is about 10 gigs. And I have my fourth one, which is about 15 gigs. It doesn't really matter on the size. So to get started, what we need to do is get inside your notification area. Go to All Settings. Within All Settings, we want to get into System. Within system, go to storage. Then we need to go all the way in the bottom that says more storage settings and then click manage storage spaces. You're going to get another window. It's going to say create a new pool or storage space. Click on that guy. You're going to get the nice user account control. Just hit yes. And it's going to show you basically all the hard drives or the internal and external hard drives that you have within your machine. I have four of them, so let's check all four of them off. Awesome. It gives you a nice little warning that all the hard drives that are going to be used for the storage space is going to be formatted and all the data is going to be lost. Okay. Once you have your hard drive selected, you're going to click on Create Pool. It's going to start preparing the drives, formatting them for you, and you're going to get this nice little window with more options. Premiere allows you to change the name of your hard drive. Remember, all these hard drives are going to be combined into one and you're going to see one single hard drive. So you can give it a name, assign a drive letter, and you can also assign the file system. You have NTFS, which is very known, and then you have REFS, which is the new one, which this one is a little better when you're dealing with memory. So that's the one I'm going to pick. Uh, for the type, you have two-way mirror, three-way mirror, or simple and the other one. So I'm going to pick two-way mirror for this and two mirror and for this option right here, the size, the capacity is only 19 gigs. So all those drives combined is 42 gigs. But when you're combining them to one, you only get to get 19 gigs. Okay, but if you change the type, if you do three-way, you get nothing. Uh, so that means you need more hard drives. If you do a simple, you get the full 41. But from my understanding, if you do the simple type, uh, read and write is going to be extremely slow. So I'm going to do the two-way for now and just do 19. Once you have all that stuff set, just hit create storage space. It's going to format everything, combine it into one, and that's it. You have your hard drive. So now if you go inside Fire Explorer, you're going to see that new hard drive. One single hard drive being redundant all the way. Now one of the cool things about this is that you can actually enable a lot of features that you would normally do in a hard drive. So if I right click on our new storage space hard drive, I'm able to turn on the BitLocker. From here, I'm going to sign a password and just hit next. I'm going to save it as a file. So I'm going to drop this file into the desktop. Click next. I'm going to use the new encryption mode. So click on next on that and start the encrypting. And lo and behold, your storage space is encrypted. How awesome is that? All right, so you actually could go inside your storage space, create folders, do whatever you want. If one of the hard drives fell, the other ones will take over and then you can replace it. Now, if you want to manage your storage space, you go back inside your storage spaces location inside the system of security. And from here, you can view the files, change. You can even delete the storage space. If you want to add more drives, hey, add more drives. Make sure that your drive is connected into your machine because if not, it's not going to recognize it. Uh, from here... You're able to rename the pool, optimize the drive usage. This is a good thing. Make sure it's nice and healthy. Other than that, guys, that is how you use Windows 10 storage spaces. It's a great feature to have to keep your data nice and safe. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Leave comments right below, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.